Hey my Frieza families, and welcome back to Genshin Impact! So, not gonna, I'm not gonna drag out this intro too long, but as Paimon said just a few seconds ago, let's go find coming. So, yeah. So, I'll see you when we get up to coming. But yeah, welcome back to Genshin Impact and blah 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 blah, you already know the drill, so... sound like I'm always the one losing. <laughs> ah, perfect. You're all here. Uh, there's an important commission I need your help with. Oh. Uh-huh. All right. I've got the time. Where are the goods? Well, it's not just goods this time. I need you to escort a tea merchant and their wares from Chaoying Village to Liyue Harbor. A very important client has requested to meet with him. Oh dear! Sure. Uh, what's this merchant's address? We're here. Uh, uh. Oh, oh, I see. Oh no. If the client's that important, then this must be a very crucial, very pressing commission, right? Uh oh. Is, the, is he in on it? Is he? Mm. Um, of course, the sooner you complete it, the better. I would advise you to depart as soon as possible. It's like, so that's fine by me. <laughs> uh oh. All right, um, don't work too hard now, Long Joe. We'll Long Joe. Is, is Long Joe in on it? Oh, that's, oh, that statue was so freaking cool. Mmm. Oh, there's a quest over here. We have been quiet today, Gumming. Oh, do you want Paimon to tell a story? Uh, we're almost there. I'll take a rain check on that. Oh boy, here we go. Hello, you must be the tea merchant heading to Liyue Harbor. We're here to escort you. <sighs> this is, uh... This is awkward. <laughs> This is really awkward, help! Um... What? Dad? What? Oh! Oh! <sighs> uh oh! Oh, so you're Gaming's father! It's nice to meet you! <sighs> oh boy. Why is there go- Sir! Go! Sir! sir. Excuse you. Just Oh, I feel so awkward. Help. Oh, God. Uh, no. Everyone at the Secure Transport Agency says as much. Even the Ministry of Civil Affairs has nothing but good things to say about him. Paimon, you're not helping. <laughs> I'm getting secondhand embarrassment. I get that a lot. It's just, uh... Seems like you've made some sort of name for yourself, at least. The sun kind of rude. Oh. oh, I want to give him a hug. The the goods are all in order. Yes, they're all here. I want to give Gaming a hug, my poor boy. Then let's get going. Uh, uh. A a very Okay. I see. 
I suppose I will have to trouble you all to escort me then. Let's go. This is this is so awkward. Place looks nice and open. Why don't you all rest here for a second? I just want to give Goming a hug. I'm sorry if I'm being so quiet. It's just I'm re like this feels so awkward. <laughs> huh? What about you? You're not going to join us? I'm not tired. I'll keep watch. Oh, give him a hug. Just let him go. Okay, we'll just share amongst ourselves then. Did you know, Uncle Ip, that the flavor of these cakes changes depending on... Halt! Who goes there? It appears that one's movements were overly conspicuous. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Oh no. Why are these two being dragged into it? No! Enough of your musings. Focus. Focus on the matter at hand. Oh, he looks so fucking badass there. Look at him! Present your exquisite ornaments at once. Oh. Indeed. Bring them forth readily and without protest. Oh, oh no. Uh -oh. <laughs> and besides, they can't really get hurt. They're a death die. They'll be fine. Uh, what do we do? <laughs> it seems as if these two are acting alone. It won't be difficult to subdue them, but they might have something else waiting in store for Dad. The best way to keep him safe is. Leave this to me. I'll handle them. Traveler, Paimon. Take my dad and the goods away from here. But... No, coming. It's too dangerous. Oh! Oh, I see Celestia in the background. This is what I do. A thorny foe, indeed. Let us depart and seek a target softer in blows and disposition. <laughs> Uh, you, be f oh, I see Cloud Retainer in the back. Away. Let us away. <laughs> that was so funny. Yes. Coming. Oh, no. Don't worry. He's a great fighter. Paimon's even seen him take down a dozen or so treasure hoarders all by himself. No, oh, no. But coming, I... <sighs> He still cares for his son. Oh, this is so freaking sweet. If he had just stayed by my side and learned the family trade, he wouldn't have to put himself in such dangerous situations. Oh, he's... Oh. 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 We just have to trust him. Let's go on ahead. We'd best get away from here in case there are other bandits in the area waiting in ambush. Oh, I've hair in the back of my shirt and... All is going to plan. Okay. Okay, we should be good to stop here. <coughs> Whoa, is that who I think it is? Oh, hold up, hold up. Is that who I think?
Good sir, please listen to me. Reel in your line and leave this place as quickly <coughs> as you can. There are bandits in the <coughs> area. Sorry, I'm trying to contain myself. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Bandits acting in broad daylight. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get in my soul and it's not working. <laughs> no, sir, ma'am. Oh. Hi, this is awkward. <clears throat> Don't stop. Ah, I see. It appears many people are catching a chill as of late. If your throat is bothering you, Paimon, perhaps some tea and rest are in order. Oh. <laughs> Anyone else has realized what I realized like a little while like a while ago that Paimon talks in the third person. I wonder if that's lore related, but who knows? You must have figured it all out by now. Is he just playing dumb on purpose? I mean it's Shang Li. What do you yeah. If there are indeed bandits in the area, then we should inform the Millilith at once. The guard that was extorting us is already on their tail. Oh? Well, if that's the case. I mean, it's Liwe. I was kind of hoping we'd just see him, but here? What? Such matters are best left to those with the necessary expertise, wouldn't you agree? Oh. <laughs> I suppose you're right. If ordinary people like us got involved, it would only cause more trouble. <laughs> Ordinary people, please. Add text on screen. <clears throat> Since we find ourselves otherwise unoccupied in this beautiful area, why don't we find a quiet place to relax while we wait for good news? <clears throat> yes, please. I want to hang with Zhong Li, please. Hmm. That would be lovely. <clears throat> Ming. The name sounds somewhat familiar. Ah, yes. That is the name of the Usho dancer who has been performing around Liyue Harbor recently, is it not? <sighs> of course he would know. <laughs> oh, have you seen him perform? Indeed. I cannot help but admire his skill. He truly encapsulates the spirit of the Suani. <sighs> That coming from Zhang Li is such a freaking honor. Oh, this is so oh, oh. Usho dancing has become more well known in Liyue Harbor recently. However, although performers are seeing budding success, they have no doubt had to face many hurdles along the way. One's not so easily understood by spectators such as ourselves. <laughs> Zhang Li coming in with the wisdom as usual. Yes. If you ask me, what truly deserves admiration is perseverance in the face of adversity. That is a rare attribute indeed. He's so freaking sweet! Ah, I want to hug this! Ah. I have heard many of my acquaintances <clears throat> praise Gumming for his kind, selfless, and courageous disposition. To have a child so accomplished and upright, you must be a very proud parent indeed, Uncle Lip. <sighs> Uncle Yip? Seems like Zhang Li has decided to skip the formalities. <laughs> I mean, it's Zhang Li. Leave him alone. Uh, well, he... He's a hard worker. Yes. Oh. You should be sure to tell him you think that when he gets back. I... <sighs> Your son is young yet. 
It's normal for someone his age to be a bit hot-headed. <laughs> I mean, you're one, sir, you're what to talk. You're like the oldest Archon here, like, sir. <laughs> it's understandable to find talking about such things in person difficult. If there's a particular sentiment you wish to convey, perhaps we could pass it along for you. Oh, Jogli, just dad, just the dad of the Archons, just yes. <laughs> No, no. It wouldn't be right to ask that of you. This is so sweet. <sighs> this thing between us has festered for many years now. In truth, there are some things that simply aren't easy for us to talk through. I've been in the tea business for most of my life. And I always hoped my child would do the same. Otherwise, how would he support himself? That is, that is a fair argument. Yeah, that is a fair argument, though. Over the past few years, I heard how well he was doing for himself as a guard. How his work was taking him to farther and farther off places. I also heard that he never gave up on wool show dancing. Aww. It made me happy. Aww. I was also worried. I mean, fair enough, your son is a fucking guard. Like, come on. When you're young, you can handle all that physically taxing work and manual labor. What young person isn't capable of making a living that way? My concern is what happens when you get old. Oh. Every time I get to thinking like that, I cannot help but be reinforced in the belief that I was right. That I was right not to give in. Oh. I often regret introducing him to wushou dancing as a kid. If I had known how things would turn out, I would have never taken him to see those performances in the first place. Oh. It is only natural for a parent to strive to send their child down the right path. No one would begrudge you that sentiment, Uncle Ip. You need not worry. Zhang Li is so friggin' sweet. Oh my goodness. You seem quite young, Mr. Zhang Li. <coughs> you, you speak with such wisdom. Perhaps I have misjudged your age. <coughs> are too kind. Truth be told, one of my old friends has several grown daughters. Oh! Cloud Retainer! Cloud Retainer! Cloud Retainer! Mm, 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 mm. Rather than fretting about their future, however, she prefers to let them find their own way. I see that look, Zhang Li! Hmm. She is more easygoing than I could ever be. I fear I lack such an open mind. Oh. Uh, oh, I meant to say earlier, there is no need to be so polite. Uh, feel free to call me by my name, Ipdak. <laughs> They're fucking faces. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, do you also think I fret too much, Mr. Zhongli? <sighs> That's not exactly what I was hoping to convey. Only a fool would ask a parent not to worry about their child. That is true, but yeah. Think of it this way. Raising a child is not unlike flying a kite. Hold the string too tight, and it can no longer soar. <sighs> Breaking in the wisdom, yes. As my friend once said, if your children are aiming for the stars... Clipping their wings will only cause them to come crashing down. You need to let out the line for a kite to soar. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. It seems I was too stuck in my ways. You need not reproach your heart for caring. You simply need to loosen your hold a little. Yeah. 
Indeed, with such a big heart, why not allocate the time you usually spend worrying about Gamin to the pursuit of other things? Like going for a stroll, drinking tea, or taking in the scenery. You never know what surprises could be in store. Things can change in the blink of an eye. This is so freaking sweet, Hu oh, Zhong Li. <laughs> Blink of an eye, you say. Do things change so quickly? I mean, look who you're talking to. Though he doesn't know that, but I mean, look who you're talking to. I'm just kidding. Children grow up in quite the same way, do they not? Day after day, year after year, sometimes in the blink of an eye, but always when you least expect it. As a father, I'm sure you know that best. Oh, this is really sweet. <laughs> yes, you can say that again. One second, Gaming was a kid. The next thing I knew, he was ready to fly the nest. <sighs> I see why Cloud Retainer recruited Mr. Zhongli here. <laughs> Zhongli certainly has a way with words. I mean... <laughs> oh, there he is. Hi, sir! Dad, Traveler, Paimon. Good, you're all here. Oh, and Mr. Zhong Li from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? You're here too? <laughs> Sorry, I tried to contain myself. It's being so hard on me. <laughs> A fated meeting indeed. We were just enjoying some pleasant conversation. I really want to draw Zhong Li so bad, but I just haven't found the time. <laughs> <clears throat> Is everything resolved? Well, you could say that. What does that mean? Yeah, I was about to say, what does that mean, sir? Traveler, Paimon, come with me. I need to talk to you. Uh oh. Hmm. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. Uh-oh. I'll come right out and say it. Those two bandits, you sent them, didn't you? What? No? Uh, <laughs> uh, so, that's how we're starting off? Uh-oh. Uh can't look me in the eye, huh? I guess I'm right then. Uh-oh. This is not good. Uh-oh. At first, their mannerisms seemed a bit stilted. But once I got close, it was obvious that they possessed great skills. <sighs> I was right on their tail, and it should have taken only a few steps to catch up to them, yet somehow, I was never able to close that distance. People with that level of skill would have gone about things differently from the start, like sneaking up on us while we were distracted. Oh, I see. My hand's getting cold, so I had to switch hands. Hold on, there we go. Unless, of course, their real motive was to lure me away from the group all along. He's fucking smart, my goodness. Wow, you're pretty quick on the uptake. I just have a lot of experience. I've dealt with many a ruthless bandit in my time, but I've never seen ones like them. In the end, I told them they would make good guards if they ever wanted to get back on the straight and narrow, and that they could hang out with me and leave you a harbor anytime. Aww. Uh, you ever consider you might be a little too good at making friends? <laughs> I'm guessing you guys were trying to help resolve things between my dad and me? Yeah. <sighs> I appreciate it, I, I really do. Aww. But this conflict between us has been going on for a long time. It might be turning around now. We just need a certain Geo Archon, well, former Geo Archon, to help. I mean, what? Even if those two were real bandits and I was able to subdue them and show them what I was capable of, it, it wouldn't change anything. You've seen the way he talks to me. <sighs> it's not like that at all! Your dad really cares about you. You should see the way he talks about you when you're not around! Zhang Li was talking things through with him, and he nearly agreed to let it go! Uh, 
You don't believe us? He won't let it go. He can say as much as he wants to other people, but he won't talk to me. I'm certain of it. And you? Will you talk to him? Oh. I'm taking that as a no. You told us you wanted to prove yourself to your dad. Why don't you tell him about all the hard work you've done these past few years? Yeah. Will that even do anything? I'm not sure talking is enough. Oh, why did this boy a hug? <sighs> you won't know unless you try. Just like how you won't know if something is delicious unless you taste it. Don't need to call me out like that, Paimon. <laughs> Listen to us. It's time to put these people skills to good use. You can make friends with anyone, so why not your dad? It won't hurt to try. <laughs> Oh, you poor baby. I'll do my best. That's all that anyone can do, to be honest. <laughs> you are very knowledgeable, Mr. Zhongli. I'm impressed. <laughs> Sorry. Despite my being in the tea industry for several decades, it seems, I still have much to learn about the art of tea tasting. I mean, you're talking to the, like, the oldest living Archon, but you know... <clears throat> you flatter me. It was nothing but a few humble musings. <laughs> Sorry, you tried to contain my thoughts, heart. <laughs> How much tea have you drank since we've been gone? <laughs> it's, it's not like it was alcohol <clears throat> on, like, a certain bard. Anyways. <laughs> if Doc and I have found many a common interest... Our friendship, much like a cup of tea, seems to grow stronger the longer it has to steep. Uh, sir, you're not making it hard. You're making it harder not to sip for you, sir. Sir. Well said, Mr. Zhongli. <laughs> Gaming, Mr. Zhongli is very knowledgeable. You should take the opportunity to learn from people like him when you're in the city. Uh oh. Uh. Huh? Oh, uh, of course. <sighs> oh, man. Young <clears throat> Lee? <laughs> I can't with the face. <laughs> I have very much enjoyed our conversation, Ipdak. But I, unfortunately, have some unfinished funeral parlor business to attend to. No, Young Lee, don't leave. Oh, I, I hope I didn't keep you. <laughs> no, don't go, please! My apologies for taking up so much of your time, Mr. Zhongli. No need to stay on my account. When you're less busy, let's find the time to meet. I'll treat you to dim sum. <clears throat> it would be an honor. <laughs> Sorry, I'm such a sip for this man. He's down <laughs> She has her oh, yeah, young Lee. <laughs> Marry me? I mean, what? You two have a nice chat, all right? This is awkward. Leave the two saw and talk to Sha. Where is he? Arrgh! Where is he? Sir? I mean, I know you're right here, but sir. I have been around the both of you for some time now. You could say I have a certain level of expertise in that regard. <laughs> As for my role in the conversation, think nothing of it. I hardly did anything noteworthy. Did you, though? Mm. <laughs> you never change, do you? I mean, please don't change. Just stay the way you are. I mean, what? A friend approaches. A what? Hello. <gasps> Chu! <gasps> Chu! You're here too? <laughs> <laughs> yes! 
Also, sip for show. Fight me. I've been here the whole time. <laughs> Ooh, cutscene. Ooh. A ghostly kite. Could that elusive director who be coming to Wangshu Inn once again? <laughs> oh, I see what you did there, Zhongli. What is she doing here? Oh, I suppose it matters not. Given her relationship with Rex, well, Zhongli, I might as well go pay my respects. Oh, I am so glad he was able to show up because oh, I was hoping he would show up, yes. <sighs> it's you. I thought you were Director Who. <laughs> ah, your arrival is most fortuitous. Do you want to try out this new gadget? <laughs> this is being so hard. This is so hard. Help. <laughs> the addition of the power source makes the takeoff more stable. It's just that... <clears throat> he seems quite immersed in the study of this device. Father and son relationship? Like, I'm sorry, just yes? I fear it's almost too stable. It completely negates the pleasure of seeing one's kite sway with the wind. It's a bit of a shame. Aww. In truth, I'm here because Director Hu dispatched me to purchase some items in preparation for Lantern Rite. Aww. I see. Much like she does every year. Much like she'll do next year, I would imagine. Aww. Hmm. Ugh. Am I wrong? Or has she once again sent you out to buy, what is it, sesame oil or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, these two is just beautiful. While we're on the subject, I do wonder why she is so obsessed with using sesame oil in the preparation of mixed vegetable dishes for lantern rites. A recommendation from Shang Ling, perhaps. What do you think, Xiao? Mm, this is so sweet. I've only met Director Who a few times. I'm hardly the best person to ask. Aww. Ah, and is that not a sign that you should visit Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor more often? <laughs> it wouldn't hurt to grace the parlor with your presence now and again, when you are otherwise unoccupied. <laughs> oh, such a father and son relationship, I love it. This one here is a traditional kite, one without any equipped mechanical device. Director Hu tasked me with studying the differences between the two to determine which one is of greater merit. Of course she would. Many hands make light work. Perhaps you could test out the other kite for me? Oh, this is so sweet. All right. Oh. I have made my comparisons. Oh. If speed is what you're after, the mechanical kite is the better choice. <laughs> so freaking sweet. Wonderful. I shall pass that information along to Director Hu. Oh. I'll leave these two kites with you. Perhaps you can find a few friends with which to partake in the activity. You might find it to be an enjoyable use of your time. <coughs> we are right here. <coughs> I mean, what? Oh, uh, wait. Who enjoys kite flying? We are right here, sir! Well, I would imagine someone of your talent and wisdom is more than capable of finding out. Oh. <laughs> so, you were testing out the kites for Hu Tao and even roped Xiao into doing it for you? Kinda didn't ask earlier because the situation was uh, awkward. <laughs> I would hardly say I roped Xiao into anything. I simply sought the help of a friend. Besides, we did the testing together. Friend, please. <laughs> you mean son, I mean what? Uh, seems like our pool of competitors is growing. Mm. The competition is not the, the important thing right now. Do you like kite flying, Xiao? I suppose I neither like nor dislike it. Although, watching a kite gradually ascend into the sky does bring me a certain peace of mind. Oh, you poor baby. Perhaps they're a bit like shell lanterns in that way. 
<gasps> oh, I really need to watch the old lantern rites. <sighs> mm. Kite flying is also a pleasant form of relaxation. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is so cute. <laughs> There's no need. Are you sure? I know you want to hang out with Traveler, sure or not Aether, but still. Minogius was the only Yaksha among us who had an interest in matters of ornamentation and design. So? When Lantern Rite is over, come find me near Pervasi's temple if you have the time. Uh, absolutely. Mm. <laughs> it's getting late. I should go inform Director Hu of our findings. This is so sweet. Oh. The last time I spoke to her, she mentioned that she would be visiting Chaoying Village in a few days. Hmm. If you have the time, perhaps you could also make the trip. If you happen to run into her, you can pass along your regards in person. Oh. Wait, are we going to see her in the next act of this? We'll keep that in mind. I know there's one more act after this. I know that for sure. Take care, Xiang Li. See you later. S -s see you. Bye. See you next time. No! Don't leave! No! Oh? Uh, this is all this is awkward. Ahem. Uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, you can go first. I don't have anything to say. Are you sure you don't have anything to say, sir? Then I'll go. I still don't want to leave Liyue Harbor. Oh. I can't say I support that decision, but... Let him finish, Gaming. Hey, let me finish before you get all worked up. Shenhe, sit. You must be tired from your journey. Shall I pour you a cup of tea? Or would you prefer something else to drink? <sighs> oh, no. No need. I'm not tired. They're gone, Master. Hmm. Perfect. The time is nigh for us to make an appearance. Oh, no. Do you remember the plan one recounted to you? Yes, Master. We aim to give them a demonstration of familial love. <sighs> oh, this is so sweet. So I'll have whatever you are having. Oh. All right. What are Auntie Shen Yun and Shen He doing here? Just how many people are involved in this scheme? I suppose all I can do is just take a seat and see what happens. This is so sweet. I can't. Perfect. I just so happened to have bought some Sunglo tea recently. It's quite the delectable variety. <sighs> Cloud retainer, I swear to Primus. Or it would be if one has not been forced to drink it every day in the hopes of whittling down one's considerable stash. One has more than had one's fill already. <laughs> Don't say that out loud, ma'am. Oh, forget it. Such thoughts detract from the present need to keep up the conversation. Has work been busy during the holiday season? Do you need my help with anything? Drunk guests can sometimes cause trouble. But I deal with them as you taught me. By pinning their heads against the table. <laughs> Uh, uh huh. Uh? Are Auntie Shen Yun and Shen He serious right now? Shh. <coughs> oh dear. While one was busy orchestrating this act, one seems to have forgotten about Shen He's various eccentricities. Yeah, you're talking to Shen He. Forgot about that. What, uh, what I meant to ask was, have you made any new friends? 
We live so far from each other. It would be a great comfort to me to know you were surrounded by good companions. Oh, this is getting fucking awkward, but sure. You already know of my past circumstances. Chenhan, you're not making this easy. Recently, I've been conversing with Guoba in the kitchen at night. Guoba can't talk, but his companionship is a comfort. I'm getting secondhand embarrassment. Help. <sighs> the poor child. Her one friend can't even talk. I guess maybe Gaming is not doing so bad after all. Perhaps I've been too hard on him. Uh... <clears throat> Let's move on, shall we? Do you have any plans for today, Shen He? How about we do something fun? That sounds about right. Take her to do something fun, and perhaps she'll loosen up a bit. Like we used to do when we would carry stones up and down the mountain from dawn until dusk, picking herbs to eat for dinner along the way? If that is what you ask of me, then that is what I shall do. <sighs> you should have gone gone you or something. <laughs> Dad, here, have some tea. Or, or no, wait, let's not have any just yet. Huh? <coughs> yeah. Oh, I simply can't listen to that any longer. Uh oh. Coming. I'd like to finish what I was trying to say before. I don't support your decision to stay in Liyue Harbor because living there is too hard on you. If you come home, there will be people to help you. I'm not saying we have to live under the same roof. I know our personalities are too similar to avoid butting heads. But you'll have your entire family around you. Your aunts, uncles, they'll all do whatever they can to help. You could get a less taxing job, and we could... We could grab dim sum together from time to time. Oh. Huh. I didn't know dim sum was such an important affair, master. Shh. Just think about it. Okay? You don't have to decide now. Dad really has changed a lot. He would never have said these things to me before. <gasps> hey, we're doing we're doing it. But I... <sighs> Thank you, Dad. Aww. <sighs> it's been long enough, don't you think? Oh, I'm unsure hopes they've made up by now. Oh, they're drinking tea in silence. That's not a good sign. Did Shenyan's plan not work after all? Uh, hey you two! Paimon, sorry we were gone for so long. We got to chatting with some friends and didn't realize how much time had passed. Perfect timing, actually. We seem to be just about done here. Yep, uh, let's go. I'll get the Vax. Gaming has grown a lot taller, hasn't he? <laughs> oh. Oh. Master, did I say something wrong earlier? I tried to go along with your questions, but when I saw how you and that man reacted, I started to wonder. <sighs> Not at all. Certain unforeseen variables may have presented themselves along the way, but the outcome proved favorable. The plan was a success. Yay! Then I helped? Naturally. Your purity of spirit is one of your greatest strengths, Shenha. You need not change who you are. Aww. 
Oh, just like her little cousin. Ah, ah it's a certain somebody. What is she doing here? How the fuck did Clover Tuner get here? You must be Mr. Ip. Thank you for coming all this way. My name is Charlotte, and I'm a reporter from Fontaine. You can find me writing for the Steambird. I invited you here not just to purchase your fine tea, but also with the hope that you might be willing to sit down for a short interview. What do you say? An interview? To advertise my teas? I suppose you could think of it that way. We Fontanians are big tea drinkers, too. Ooh. A Fontaine market. Uh-oh. Uh... Then I'll need some time to adequately prepare. Perhaps we could sit down and discuss the questions you intend to ask in advance. Ooh, okay. Of course, of course. Please follow me. Is this person also involved in your plan? No. She's the very important client. And here, I thought I had lots of connections. <sighs> I suppose I've been humbled. You sure know all kinds of cool and important people. <laughs> Thanks! This is really awkward. Over here! Yoo-hoo! Over here! <laughs> Shen Yun, no! Uh huh? But Auntie Shen Yun? How did you- Oh, wait, she's a bird. She can fly here. She probably wants to talk about the next phase of the plan. Let's go while your dad is still distracted. Well then, <laughs> Shin Yun, what the heck, girly? I take it that all is going well. Don't worry, Shin Yun. Everything is going according to plan. I knew it. I knew that was all an act earlier. Auntie Shin Yun is really something. <laughs> she was so determined to help me. She didn't even care about making herself and Shanka appear foolish in front of my family. She truly knows how to look out for others. I still have a lot to learn. Oh, that's really sweet. I love how she kind of puts on like a hot-headed personality, but she's like she's a freaking sweetie deep down. As for the next step. Oh no. <laughs> Coming, it's okay. What's wrong, Coming? Don't tell me you're the ones footing the bill for all that tea. I can't let you do that. No, 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 no. Fret not. Reimbursements will be made. Exactly. Think of it more as an investment, as Ming Wang would say. <laughs> we pulled together the Mora so that Charlotte could place the order. She's going to bring it back to the Steambird as a gift, as well as a sample of the regional specialty. Oh. Fontanians will probably fall in love with your dad's tea as soon as they lay their eyes on Charlotte's article. And once all the money from the new orders begin to roll in, getting our Mora back will be a piece of cake. Sounds, sounds legit enough. Oh, okay. Aww. Business-related matters always seem to go over my head, but I refuse to let you all lose Mora on my behalf. I'll pay you back right now. No, okay, it's okay. We can talk about such matters at a later date. There are more important matters for you to consider at the moment. Are there not? Yes. I've been thinking about it the whole way here. Mm-hmm. I have an idea. Oh? I need to call you in trouble for all of you. Sorry. Sorry about that, my... How am I recording for an hour already? Goodness. Sorry about that. I usually take my night time bills at 10.30. I deeply apologize. Hmm. That is for us to decide. Yeah, we're all friends here. Plus, we wouldn't be here if we didn't want to help, right? Just tell us about this idea of yours. Okay. So, it's like this. Of course, they're not going to tell us outright. Great. Got it. Just leave it to us. Let's split up and make it happen. We need to do those things we talked about, but we also still have the kite flying competition. 
Uh huh. Oh, God. Oh, it's to the kite stall, I guess. Hello again. Welcome back. I see you returned from your trip. I really do have to thank you for all your help from before. Aww. Thanks to you, my daughter was able to build a kite with her grandmother that very same day. She even wrote a long letter telling me how much she loved it. Oh, that's sweet. sweet. Oh, you should really be thanking Gami, not us. Uh, I'll be sure to. <sighs> and are you here to buy a kite? Please, take your pick. Yes, here you go. Please, take it, free of charge. The directions are in the box. It's not hard to install at all. Oh. Um, it doesn't feel right for us to just take it. Well, nor would it feel right for me to take your Mora. <laughs> Good luck in the kite flying competition. I'll be rooting for you. Oh, thank you. All right, then. Thank you. This is so freaking sweet. Let's get down to business. Let's get down to business to defeat the hunts. Sorry about that. Anyways, back to business. Oh. Okay then. Ooh, cutscene? Ooh, cutscene, yay! <laughs> Gee -gee, we're almost there! <laughs> okay. Oh, this is so cute! <gasps> this is so cool! So sweet. This is so cute. Oh. Huh? What's going on? What the fuck? What's going on? Um. What's going on? Oh. Cloud Retainer is helping him being able to stand on water. Oh, this is so cool! Oh, I love what he's doing! Oh, this is so cool! Oh, that is so cool! This is so cool! Oh, 
so sweet. Ooh, pictured her. Oh, she even posed for it. Taken that many pictures already? Uh, I need to load more film. <laughs> Oh, this is so sweet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is so cute. She got it, don't worry. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Contain yourself. Happy lantern, right? Happy lantern, right? Yes. Oh. Don't tell me that's the end of it. Yeah. first this time okay your performance I've seen many wushu dances in my time but I've gotta admit what you pulled off there was breathtaking oh, this is so sweet wow oh. I I never thought I'd live to hear you say that Serious about doing this professionally? Absolutely. I, I know it'll be difficult, but then it doesn't matter. <sighs> what I mean to say is, of course it'll be difficult. But if that's your decision, if that's your dream, then it doesn't matter how difficult it is. As long as you put in the work, then any obstacle can be overcome in time. Oh, woman, I am almost crying. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Genshin, you've been this close to actually making me cry. This is not fair. Really? When I was young, I also... <laughs> actually, how about we save that story of my past for another time? Oh. All I really want to say is... I've changed my mind. <gasps> oh my gosh, shark face! <laughs> Much like this kite, you also deserve to soar to new heights. Oh, my hand is cramping up. Oh god, I need to set my phone down for for a little bit. Dad, son, <laughs> son, I haven't heard that in a while. <laughs> I bet you're wondering what's gotten into me saying all this. Well, um, <laughs> a little bit, yeah. 
I can see the resemblance, the resemblance in these two. This is so freaking sweet. Anyway, I know I've never found the chance to say this before, but <clears throat> to me, Gaming, you've always been a great kid. Why? <laughs> I'm a sucker for these types of stories. It's just ugh. everything I've got. Did you have something you wanted to say, or...? <gasps> oh! <laughs> 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 this is so freaking sweet! Seeing the two of them talk things through like this really gives Paimon a sense of accomplishment. Uh, give yourself a pat on the back, Paimon. Now go. Yeah, I just have a big, a big grin on my face. Over there, your friends are still waiting for you. Mm. Huh? But you came all this way. I'll be staying in Lira Harbor for a bit longer. When you have time, we can grab them some together. Your treat, right? <gasps> oh my god, this is so freaking cute! Sorry, this is. Dad, honestly. This is so freaking sweet. Oh! <laughs> Go. <laughs> okay, then I'm off. See you soon. Father like son, am I right? <laughs> I want that kite! I want that kite! I want that kite. That's quite the smile you've got there, Gummy. <laughs> <laughs> so freaking sweet. <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> it's nothing to be embarrassed about. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Hmm. I'd like to find and thank Auntie Shenyun, as well as everyone else who's helped me out. With. Oh, of course. If everyone has time, maybe we could all get together and go fly a kite. <gasps> go fly a kite, Ah! No! You can't do that to me! How dare you! Well, I'm gonna end today's episode here. And yeah, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this video. I sure did. It almost made me cry, and I don't know how to feel about that. Um, Zhongli, you can shush, even though I, I love you, but shush. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna call it here, and I'll see you in the next one, um, whenever... Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, because I, because, yes, sorry, my brain's kind of all over the place. Because I got to see my boy Zhongli, it's just... <laughs> we also got to see Xiao, it's just, yes. Ah, okay. Well, I hope you guys... Yeah. Well, I'll see you in the next one whenever that may be. Bye, my first of animals.